I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we'll apply laws of exponents and simplify the given expression. Now, we have two expressions here. One of them with the numbers, which can be evaluated. The other one will simplify. So, the first one here is 2 to the power of minus 2 plus 2 to the power of minus 1. Both of them divide by 2 to the power of minus 3. We could rewrite this expression as 2 to the power of minus 2 divided by 2 to the power of minus 3 plus 2 to the power of minus 1 divided by 2 to the power of minus 3. Now I'm writing it in this fashion to avoid multi-layer fraction. That's the whole idea, right? Now we'll simplify each one of them, these two terms, using the loss of exponents. So these are same bases. So we could say 2 to the power of minus 2 minus of minus 3, right? Divide means negative and the exponent was negative 3. And the second one, 2 to the power of minus 1 minus minus 3. That is to say, 2 to the power of minus 2 plus 3 plus 2 to the power of minus 1 plus 3. And that gives us 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 is 1. So normally we don't write 1. 2 means 2 to the power of 1. Plus, here it is 2 to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 2, right? So this could be written as 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. So the given expression could be evaluated as 6. Now let's try to apply these laws and simplify the second expression, which is in a and b. So we have a to the power of minus 1, b to the power of minus 2, plus a to the power of minus 2b squared to the power of minus 1. Both of them are divided by a squared b to the power of minus 3. So we'll apply a similar strategy as we did in the first example. The idea of taking up this example was to show you the method and now actually you can pause the video and simplify this test question, right? So we could write this as, I'll write them individually. We have a to the power of minus 1, b to the power of minus 2 divided by, we can open this up, so a to the power of minus 3 times 2 is minus 6 and b to the power of minus 3 plus. Here we have, we can open this up, multiplying both exponents by minus 1. So we get a square b to the power of minus 2 divided by, denominator will be a to the power of minus 6, b to the power of minus 3, just as we did the first one, right? Now, we can apply the laws of exponents. Whenever you divide, you take away the powers. So as far as the base a is concerned, we have minus 1 minus of minus 6, b minus 2 minus of minus 3, plus the second term, a square minus of minus 6 times b to the power of minus 2 minus of minus 3, right? Now we could write this as a to the power of minus 1 plus 6, b to the power of minus 2 plus 3, plus a to the power of 2 plus 6 times b minus 2 plus 3. That is to say, a to the power of 5, b to the power of 3 minus 2, which is 1, plus a to the power of 2 plus 6 as 8, b to the power of minus 2 plus 3, which is 1. So that is how you could actually write your expression. If you want, you can take a to the power of 5b common and write this as 1 plus a also, right? So that is how you further simplify. I hope the method is absolutely clear to you. We applied this strategy of splitting them up and writing as two different terms so that we could avoid multi-layer fractions. I hope this strategy helps you to understand and do similar questions. Thank you and all the best.